This is my new 2020 Supra and we are gonna turn it into this. brand new you see this Sheesh. <laughs> what <laughs> that's the easiest donut I've ever done fun part begins. We're gonna start with the part of the car that just absolutely kills me, these. What are we, a clown car? Come on, what were we thinking for the launch edition? So these, gotta go. The other thing we're gonna fix is right here, wind travels through when you have the windows down into the cab too much and it creates buffeting. And that'll be the perfect touch for beginner modifications for the Supra. These are gonna look sick. Whoa, these are kind of cool looking. They're super minimal. There we go. Out with the old, in with the new. First look, so much better. Look at the difference. Huh. There we go. Woo. That's proper. Yeah! This is vital. Looks so much better without that loud red piece. These cars are sick. They're so, so aesthetically pleasing. We got some serious aerodynamics going on right here. Passenger side on. We're cruising 60 miles an hour and it's just normal wind noise. None of the type of wind noise that hurts your ears. So these are awesome. We're gonna flash it with my favorite tuning software for these cars. It has adjustments that are super cool and it's finally really alive and feels like what a Supra should be. Just pulled your DME out of your car and it goes over in. We're gonna throw it to the bench. We're simply just gonna put an Ecutech software version. So it's just ready to tune right off the bat. It sees it's there and we're just gonna unlock. This is actually a pretty quick process. We can go ahead and put this back in the car. Turning it on, hello. Program completed successfully close. We'll see the tack jump up to 1,000. Oh. Now we can go to full power mode. We let it sit, and we'll select map two, and now you're in your full power mode. Three is your 30 map, four is your E50 map, and if you go up again, there's your valley mode. Valley mode, ah. Now we can change this in real time. Anyways, might hate this, but give it a little blip. That but I'm a man child, so we go like this. Right <laughs> How much horsepower approximately do you think I just gained? Probably about 60 to 70 horsepower, 91, and 70 to 120 pounds of work. Should we go on a rip? You on it? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> is the most important package of the series. Ooh, the metal pipe. This is cool. Just a simple down pipe.
engine is so good <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> i have this e85 calculator app so i need to do five gallons of 91. <laughs> Loudest intake, zero question, Arma speed, neck snapper. Ooh, this is a nice finish. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. this is a nice filter, all black. And the shield, really nice carbon everywhere. It's gonna look great under the hood. tint first and then I'm gonna jump straight into progress on the PPF film. So judging by the picture, I would say it's maybe 30%. It looks like a gray, gray type film. Doesn't look like it's brown at all.
Give me the one of these. Give me one of these. This is the best angle. Look at the hips. Look at that. Oh! This is the Made Motorsports Heritage Single Exit Titanium Exhaust. sweet but what do we do with this port I have a little mod for you this is what it comes with nice little texture 3d printed piece not a perfect color match but it will work for now does it look better does it look worse I'm definitely gonna see if I can get it painted part of bringing this render to reality is lowering the car here's our springs 100% made in Germany Let's take a look at the wheel gap before we do any work. Not three fingers, not three in the front. A little pressure on. First set of custom wheels I've ever had in my entire life. Went BC forged. Ooh, pretty light for a big wheel. Sheesh! Oh, dude. Look at how big this is. It's light. It's really light. Dude. Holy meat, boys. Tires, what did we go with? Pilot Sport 4S's in the front and Pilot Sport Cup 2's in the rear. I mean, these are just track tires basically that are somehow, I guess, street legal.
alive. Oh, that's a huge difference. Huge difference. Red brake calipers. Uh -uh. Those are gonna be yellow soon. The other important thing to go with that, to tie this all together, is yellow DRLs. Comes on a little tin box. You can see in this bag, there's those little yellow dots right around those are the LEDs. <laughs> Now I can put this back in the car. Hey, that's pretty yellow. Ah, looks <laughs> sick. Hands down, one of the most exciting modifications for the Supra right here. This thing is rad. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Just got the wing back from paint. Ryan over at A to Z's killed my vision. Check out this fade. It's like a satin matte, but it fades to the black. But then when it's gonna be on the car and you look up in here, you'll see some carbon. So clean. here Super life, baby. Looks insane, bro. Does that get old? Oh man. Now when these are yellow with Brembo stickers and matching the DRLs. Final color detail and have a bright poppy gloss yellow with a Brembo sticker on the brake calipers to just make this thing look amazing. And snap next everywhere we go.
been well over 24 hours. They look amazing. The clear came out so good. Now it's time for the best part. Boom. Dang, these things pop, that's for sure. But until it's real, it's not real. I and mean, we want to see you, can you get it done? If you like this car, you're thinking about some parts for yourself for a future project, all the links are in the description. It's the best way to support the channel as well to keep creating more videos like this. Shopping with Karma Speed and those links down below and our small team. If you need tint, wrap, PPF, this project wouldn't be possible without Rick over at Cactus Tint. So if you're in the Phoenix Valley, check him out. I'll have his links in the description as well. If you enjoyed this car, you might like this car as well, an Audi RS3. This is a similar price point, five cylinder turbo though, instead of a six cylinder cylinder turbo and it's all wheel drive fun times over here you're definitely missing out because this thing sounds like a baby huracan if you haven't seen it yet